since the inception of the government of Chalewan Bafo, the governor of Anambra State, Charles Sukuma Soludo, the prof, he had made a statement and vowed that he will keep Anambra State clean. And also, subsequently, you know, taking into account what we've been advocating for to remove some of the dumpsters that were littered across so many strategic roads in Onicha particularly and some other parts of Anambra State. So we advocated that such should be removed so that refuse dumps will not litter along the major streets of cities in Anambra State. And this is just one of it. Where I'm standing used to be um, an eyesore of a junction. This is Ojedi Junction in Onicha. And if you look right here, you can see there is a sign that is well written here, no dump of refuse here. Fine is 50,000 by Ashwama from the Anambra State Government. Okay, since this effort had been made, so many places were cleaned up, some of the dumpsters were removed from the roadside, and I can tell you the people had a sign of relief. But recently, a new development is happening. Refuse bin is creeping back into the streets of Anambra State. That, particularly on Icha, you can't drive from one point to the other without witnessing an eyesore of refuse bin littering the entire street. Driving down through magazine, through GRA, you can see that the dumpster there is filled up and already littering the road. If you drive around Ekene Junction, you see some of the places where usually before now you don't have refuse being there is now being seen creeping into our streets. And again, I went to MCC. When I got to MCC, it was an eyesore altogether that everywhere is completely littered with refuse being. This one is MCC. This is what we get in MCC. You can see how bad this whole thing has become. That even motorists don't have any way to pass. Very soon this one is going to block completely. Look at it. Right at MCC. You see? And we ask, what have we done wrong and who have we offended in this city called Onicha and particularly Anambra State? And that is why it is important Chalewan for the government of Anambra State, should look critically into this very occurrence and resurfacing of refuse dumps in Anambra State. And that is exactly why I am making this video particularly. There is a place around Fege which I want you to take a look at because the report have already be brought to my desk and I want you to help me take this video around and make sure that the governor of Anambra state does the needful and urgently. Okay, my people, I have come to this point, the Crete Road by Bida Road, somewhere there. And um, this is the high point of it. This is supposed to be um, a roundabout, sort of. It's supposed to be beautified. This roundabout is supposed to be beautified. But what we are getting is another beautification of its own kind and definition. You are having 
a mountain of refuse dump right here. It had become so bad that it had blocked off the entire road completely. This one is completely blocked off. Motorists can make use of the other one, pending when it will cross over to the other side. That is the situation of things. We used to have this thing in the past during Obiano time. I've talked about it at Oshanja Roundabout. Now it has relocated now to um, Creek Road Junction, Eba Apolonia Army. It's popularly known Eba Apolonia Army. Creek Road Junction by Bida. Why? The smell is stench. The thing there. Hey! Look at it. Charlie one bar for. You came on the wings of making Anambra State a safer and a prosperous state, turning it into Dubai of Africa. This is what is happening. And I now ask you a question. Who did we offend? Where have we gone wrong? When Soludo came in, we are part of it, and I'm still part of it, to make sure that he succeeds. And that is exactly why I am doing this. So that those who are responsible for this should sit up and do the right thing. Because, And that is what GGM is all about, to ensure that the government does the right thing, to have a responsible government and a responsive one. This is one um, incident that we never believe will surface in this dispensation led by Professor Charles Soludo. It is quite disappointing. And that is why everywhere people are talking about it, but we can keep quiet because we are part of the progress we want Anambra State to record. And that is why it is important he does the right thing. Some people might say, oh, this is so they are trying to say things against him because he spoke. No, it's not about his political views. It's about delivering good governance. And I tell you, and I keep telling everyone who had called me, that we can only measure the performance of Soludo and decide if he should continue as the governor of Anambra State, not because of his political views or affiliation, but about his performance and delivering of good governance to the Anambra State. And what we're seeing is just part of it. And I'm bringing it to him because there is no other means for me to address this issue and bring it to the notice of the governor because he is not Holy Spirit. He cannot be everywhere. But people who have taken responsibility to do this, they are not doing as expected. And that is why I am making this video. And from here, I'm going to show you another place that breaks my heart as it concerns our younger generation, the children, their school. Honestly speaking, what you're about to see will blow your mind off. Okay, I am right here at New Better Nursery and Primary School in Onisha North Local Government area. And as part of what I have been saying, this is a crime as far as I'm concerned against the young pupils who study right here in this school. All right, if you look down there, you will see a complete mess. A complete mess of a city where you have refuse bin blocking off a whole part of the road, leaving just one singular part, lane, for tourists. It's very difficult to navigate through here. But that is not my major concern. For the fact that the people who are responsible of waste management are lagging behind, they are not living up to expectation. You can see the difficulties vehiculars uh, or motorists uh, pass through trying to navigate through this place. Here, this is classroom blocks. All, you, all this, the roof you are looking at now is a classroom blocks for pupils. When they are in section, they inhale the stench of a smell coming out from this. I have to hold my breath to bring this report to you. So as to feel what children who study here feel every time they come to learn. I can understand the situation of those pupils. Recording this thing from here. There is no sane human being 
whether adult or child, can carry out his daily activities, perceiving the stench, the odor emanating from this refuse bin dumped right at the back of their classroom blocks. I call it a crime. It's a crime against these children. It's, it's something so horrible. Well done. I have said it time and over. Why would government choose all of other places in the city to keep a dumpster right behind the classroom blocks? Pupils. Why would a sane government allow this to happen? I've talked about it even during um, Obi Anos' tenure, and now I've been saying it. And because the people who are managing the waste refuse have left this thing for some weeks. That's why you see the littering of the entire street with refuse being uh, littered all over the place, waste. And this street is completely blocked off. Navigating through here is a hell. So if you look at this place, you can see that very soon, vehicular movement from this street will be completely cut off. Looking at this street, very soon, this place will be completely blocked off. And I wonder what uh, uh, Soludo is doing. I think it is high time something is done very urgently. Sorry about that. I understand your situation. That is why we are here. It's very unfortunate. Vehicular movement here is really hard. Clear, totally an You see how difficult it is for motorists to navigate through here because of this refuse bin. The one shot at it is that this thing should be relocated. That is the most important thing. So that these children that are learning that place will not be perceiving this order coming from this place. Of all places, this should be the last place to dump refuse bin. It's a crime against these poor people. There are other places, not just this place. Okay, um, I'm right here at this wall. You're looking at is Pachiko Kolo Memorial Primary School. And um, that's where you have these dumpsters. You have about four dumpsters here, one, two, three, four. Just like the ones we've showed you earlier. And we continue advocating that primary schools, secondary school, especially um, even hospitals, areas should not be littered with waste. If uh, the psychological trauma, the young pupils going to school, having to pass through these um, dumpsters is really bad. I don't know the, 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 the state of their mental health that will help them develop while studying. Because that is one of the major things I am trying to highlight. That another place, a better place, should be designated, not the front of a school, of all places. I'm in the front of the gate, and you can see children coming to school and having this thing to pass through before getting to classroom is really heartbreaking. And I consider it a crime against these children. That's why we continue advocating that the governor of Anambra State will do the needful and make Anambra State, as promised, the Dubai of Africa, the paradise we seek. And we are partners in progress to ensure that he succeeds. That is why we're making this video. So I want you to ensure that you help me spread this news and I can tell you categorically from the information we're getting some of the things that you've seen so far it's as a result of lagging behind in terms of paying of contractors that is one of the major reasons why um, the refuse being you see littering around the cities are happening so it is left for the governor to do the right thing pay up and let the contractors or the waste management department do the needful so that together we have a safer and a saner society that we all will thrive in and make our homeland the paradise we seek. I'm Asuchi Red Peters, the advocate for good governance, pleading with you that is watching to help me share this 
video. And wherever you see things that are not working well, endeavor to bring it to our notice because we are the voice of the people. We are partners in progress in rebuilding Igbo land. I'm signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments and let's have your opinion on this. Bye-bye for now.